Australia will have a climate skeptic as its new deputy prime minister. A decision that threatens Canberra's commitment to achieving net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. Barnaby Joyce, who was previously Australia's deputy prime minister from 2016 to 2018, but resigned after an extramarital affair with a former staff member, was named as the new leader of the National Party on Monday after he defeated incumbent Michael McCormack in a vote of the party's 21 federal lawmakers. Joyce said his party will only support energy policy that boasts the government's appeal in regional Australia, which is heavily dependent on fossil fuel mining. Joyce's ascent is likely to the real Morrison's hope of strengthening Australia's climate targets amid a concerted push by US President Joe Biden. Well, I want to make sure that we have a, a process that we can go to places such as central Queensland, that we have the capacity to, on behalf of the coalition, to give us the very best chance of winning the next election. I'm not detracting for one second in one iota uh, the qualities that Michael has and has shown the parliament. I will try always uh, to be the better person. Uh, I, I acknowledge my faults. I resigned. I've spent you know, three years on the back bench. I don't walk away from, uh, from, from making sure that I can be a better person, do a better job. You know? And uh, I'm reminded by that by the people that I love dearly, my four daughters, uh, and my two sons, and Vicky. At the outset, I want to say that I respect the decision made by the National Party Room today. And I wish Barnaby Joyce all the best as leader of the National Party. I have been honoured to serve the National Party as its leader for the past three years. I have been privileged and humbled to do that. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.